welcome back to Bangkok everyone. Today we are on the lookout for big urban environments for photography. Some of those overpasses, big concrete areas and just general mass metropolis vibes. Today feels like a heavy bag day uh, because I'm expecting some sort of wide scenes and some tight scenes uh, so I've got my heavier lenses. Uh, so I'm shooting images on the X-T4, I've got the 16 to 80 f4. Uh, this is a very versatile lens for travel and just going out and about. Um, it's only f4, so when it comes to night time, it's not quite as good. But I do have my lightweight 35mm f2 in my bag. Um, it's not really adding extra weight, so I'm kind of happy to carry it. And then, of course, filming on the R5, uh, I got the 24 to 70. Uh, and I do have my 70 to 200, which is probably what's adding the weight in my bag. Um, but if we get some super long scenes, uh, it will be worth it. Victory roundabout. It's a roundabout, and um, what's kind of funny and I think is actually hilarious is the Sky Train and uh, this pathway that we're on here. It comes around the roundabout, so obviously to preserve the aesthetic and you know it's obviously a uh, a landmark. Um, they're not going to build over it, so they've built around it. And when you look at it on the map, it's one of the only curvature areas of the track, which I think is quite funny. Um, but of course, it's high with activity. The light is uh, starting to shine sideways, so it's looking great here. Uh, all sorts of shadows forming and other stuff. Uh, definitely a lot to take in. I really love being on elevated walkways, especially when the sun is as harsh as it is right now, because you get such strong shadows and it's mostly noticeable on the bikes because when they come past, you see the silhouette of the people. Um, and I just really love that aesthetic to the photos. It's. Uh, you only have a, a minimal amount of time in the day to do that, uh, but when it works, it really works. I don't know if we've necessarily exhausted this area of photo opportunities. In fact, I'm pretty sure we haven't. Um, however, as is usually the case, we are up against time and light, and there's only a finite amount. There's only a finite amount of time where the lighting is good uh, during the day. So we're going to go on to some other areas and uh, transition towards the night time. So I think we're going to head um, kind of back towards uh, Siam, which is where the two sky trains uh, cross over. So there's extra layers of this iconic concrete style to Bangkok. I don't know how you feel about it, but I personally love it. Uh, if there's ever a city that gives off Blade Runner vibes, Bangkok is the one.
just nipped into Siam Paragon. No, Siam. What's this one? Siam Central? One of the Siams. Siam, Siam <laughs> Centre. There's, there's multiple Siams at Siam. Um, just to sort of refresh a little bit, dip out from the heat. And we're just deciding. I think it might be the best time to get some food because it's about 5 pm. Uh, the best time for us to be out shooting is 6 till 7 ish. Um, that's when the headlights start to come on and the, uh, the sun sets around 6.30, 6.40. So that is the prime time. And I think we're going to get very hungry then. So we have to judge when we're going to eat and I think now's the best time. I'm hungry. And I've just seen there's a Moss Burger. It's been two and a half years since I've had a Moss Burger. It drinks for the occasion. During this trip, we've been doing a little bit of analog film photography um, using Ellie's Canon A1. And uh, there's actually been a little bit that's broken on the camera. And we've tried so many different stores in London. Everyone's just dismissed it. They've said, nah, can't get the part. Come here to this place, unit. And um, they went digging through their drawers and tried to find anything that could work. And um, they fixed it. And very, very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy they fixed it. I'm smiling. <laughs> and they did a good job. <laughs> anyway, the light is uh, pretty good right now, so let's carry on and get some more images and uh, maybe go up a viewpoint as well. really love the Skytrain for its overhead sort of float through the city but also so many of the stations have great vantage points and it runs along some of the main roads as well so it's just overall a photographer's dream I am loving this so much and uh, we're right at the point where Bangkok transitions into night city the blue hour blue hour of Bangkok I think is a special moment it lasts for about 10 minutes um, but I, I just love this sort of feeling, this vibe. Uh, by the way, the images that I've been using, I've been editing with my remastered presets. I had a few people message after my first video from Thailand asking, you know, how do I get the remastered? I previously bought them. Uh, so the original download link that you have will work if you previously purchased them. Otherwise, uh, you can get them in the description below. Uh, there's a link there to the store. just had some drinks up at Lennon's bar, um, a very nice cocktail bar, a very good sound system as well by the way. Uh, unfortunately you couldn't really get any photos because the windows were angled away from the tables, so there's a lot of reflections, uh, but good views and good vibes nonetheless. That is exactly the type of Bangkok that I was desperate to see throughout this whole trip. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the footage and the photos pretty exhausted it's been a long day and uh, definitely wanting to come back and do some street photography and night photography so uh, hold out for that video in the meantime here's what's coming up next on the channel 
and I'll see you then. See you later, bye bye.